I'm Joe Papa, technical editor for DroneLife.io and host of the Drone Life podcast. As a pro builder and pilot, I refuse to cut corners when it comes to the safety, reliability, or the performance of a rig. So aside from specs and costs, how are all these motors really different? To find out the truth, I decided to tear down some of the best motors from DJI, T-Motor, and KDE Direct. Stay right here with me as we reveal the dirty secrets behind motor designs and pick the undisputed winner of the 2017 Drone Life Best Propulsion System. Integrated into the same portion of the motor where we mount our props, the magnet core is critical to performance and efficiency. What we ideally want to find in the magnet core are strong high temperature permanent magnets with a curved design to hug the stator. In addition, we want to make sure that they're anchored firmly in place because any magnet that can detach will instantly destroy a motor in flight. After that, we'll take a look at any provisions that were included in the design that can assist in cooling. The 14-pole U7 uses standard flat magnets. They fit in the slots milled into the aluminum bell, but they're only held in with epoxy. T-Motor doesn't seem to offer any efficient curved magnet designs. The way in which the blue balancing epoxy is applied definitely leaves a lot to be desired. Magnetism that's lost through the outside of the end bell is called flux loss. This steel E-clip, which shouldn't stick at all, shows how much magnetism is lost through the outside of the U7. The U7 failed this test miserably. The U10 also has standard flat magnets spaced by machine grooves and held in only with adhesive. The balancing epoxy shown here is haphazardly applied. It seems like it was partially cured before being pressed on with someone's finger. The open design is the U10's method of cooling. The U10 is much better and passes our magnetic flux loss test with an average grade. The E-clip does stick, but not that well. The DJI 6010 has a much better magnet core. Here we can clearly see the curved design. The magnets are also spaced by machine slots, and DJI even included a ceiling and floor above and below the magnets to help retain them. Epoxy is the main anchor though, and we couldn't find any specs that bragged about high temp ratings or exotic materials. The balancing epoxy is simply everywhere. At least this motor has a nice machine cooling fan. It also did admirably well in the flux loss test, barely holding onto the E-clip. The KDE Direct 7215 blew us away with its gorgeous, sleek, and smooth design. In addition to epoxy, the magnets are clamped between two machine rings with precision channels. KDE is the only manufacturer to provide N45UH neodymium sintered magnets, which are custom made and rated for 180 degrees C. The balancing epoxy is skillfully applied and a refreshing departure from what we've seen in the competition. This black steel flux ring is bolted on to retain and focus all of the neodymium power inwards. Certainly an expensive upgrade, the KDE motor is the only one to pass the E-clip test with flying colors. The magnets are so strong that the clip was sucked into the core which surprised me. The end bell has the largest fan of all the motors and a user replaceable shaft. Thanks so much for watching this video on the magnet core. Be sure to check out the first two videos in the series if you haven't seen those, but the most shocking video is still yet to come. I'd like to personally thank you for taking the time to tune into this video. I hope that it was very helpful. To be the first to know when new videos are posted, be sure to click subscribe. For even more exciting content, be sure to check out DroneLife.io, empowering you with technical advice and unbiased reviews on everything drone related.